Hey all you addicts out there, welcome back to another Addicted Fishing tutorial. Today we're out here on the lake when we're trout fishing. What we're talking about is probably one of the biggest old man secrets in the book, and that is floating a worm off of the bottom of the lake. This is something that not a lot of people have ever really done because it's, I mean, honestly, it's, it seems a little weird to go injecting air into a worm, but what it does is it gets that worm presentation down on the bottom of the lake in deeper spots like where we're at right now, which is a little over 20 feet. These fish are sitting all through the different water columns. So we're gonna put this bait on the bottom of the lake, but adding some air to that worm so that it floats up above the weed line and above the water column that is the bottom of the lake. So that's gonna help those fish cruise around, find that worm, go ahead and grab it and take that off the bottom for you rather than your power bait or anything like that, the other presentations. So this is a really cool trick, works for a lot of people. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. We're gonna go step to step, figure it all out here together. What we have here for a rod is an Okuma Guide Select Pro, four to six pound rod. You can go a little bit heavier, you can go a little bit lighter, you know, any of the ugly sticks, anything like that works just fine. You want something that has a nice soft tip so that you can see the bite register off of that rod tip when you're fishing this worm off of the bottom. We're gonna set our, our setup up here with a little bit different slide weight system so that when we do get that bite, it registers on the tip right away. So an ultralight rod works really good. Uh, I like the Okuma Guide Select Pro. These are a little harder to find, but they're a very, very good rod, nice and light, and they cast very well. So what I have on here is a 3 3000 model or a 30S. This is an RTX made by Okuma again. Anything works. I like the 3000 because it's a little bit bigger. You can fit a little bit more line on there just in case you do hook one of those big broodstock fish and it takes you clear across the lake. You're gonna want some of that extra line on there. I got 10 pound fluorocar or excuse me, 10 pound braided line here. I use fluorocarbon as my bumper uh, or my leader line as you'll see here in just a second. So I have that strung through my eyes all the way out here. What I'm gonna do first for you guys, I'm just gonna walk you through the entire setup of how to set this whole rig up. First off, first and foremost, to keep from having this weight slide over my swivel setup, I'm gonna add a little bead. This is just a tiny little four mil bead, eight mil, six mil, any of that works. Just any kind of bead so that you don't have your weight slipping over the top of your, either the guide or your eye, or the, uh, the swivel that's gonna separate your leader and this braided line. So we're gonna slide that on. And what I have here is just a little clasp with a piece of pencil lead. You can either use the egg weights, you can use split shot, you can use anything that you really want to uh, to get you down there depending on how deep you need to be. But I have this, this little clasp with a little piece of pencil lead with a hole punched through it, which is just working great for us today. So that's what we're using. On the other end of that, I'm gonna put another little bead here, same little bead that I had before. And let's put that right on my line here. And this is what's gonna separate my leader line and um, my weight system and that way that I have that slide weight going back and forth on the line so that when those fish bite it registers instantly and it's not pulling against the weight first and the fish will feel the weight and never swallow the bait completely like you want it to so what I have here now is just a little swivel little barrel swivel any size any color really works as long as it's going to be on the bottom um, got the little barrel swivel here I'm just going to tie a simple fisherman's knot to that barrel swivel Seven wraps here. And this light line is kind of hard to tie knots with sometimes because you can't see it. Perfect, there we go. And what I have here from there, the same clinch knot, going to about 10, eight, 12 pound uh, fluorocarbon line. Depending on how clear the lake is that you're fishing, this lake isn't exactly very clear. So I have a 12 pound test on here just in case we do hook a really big one. Uh, you can go all the way down to six or four, whatever need be for this setup. But I have about four and a half to five feet of leader here. And what I wanna do that for, I wanna gauge how much leader I need depending on what kind of lake I'm fishing. If you know there's a lot of weed beds and vegetation on the bottom of the lake, you're gonna want a longer leader to get above that. And that's the point of making this worm float. So from there, simply right to my must add worm hook here. This is a number four. You can go a little bit bigger if you need to. I'm just gonna do a normal clinch knot right to that. Just like so. Clip that little tag end off. So now here's the magic part. Here's the part that we've all been thinking about throughout this whole video. And that is making the worm float. So here I have perfect little night crawler. This why is on the little side, which is kind of nice because we want him. We don't want a big, giant, long one. Sometimes you can even do this with a half of a worm. 
I'm gonna go ahead and stick that right through the head of that worm all the way through, get that thing on there good and solid. And poke it through. And you see I have about, about an inch of that worm on the hook. What I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna take my worm blower, just a normal little worm blower you can buy at any Walmart or any fishing store. I might feed that worm up the line just a smidge more, just like so. But what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go just behind my hook point, just in the tail of that worm. I'm gonna insert this little pin and I'm gonna slowly blow up the back end of that worm. What the key is is to not blow too much air in there and actually blow it out. So I'm gonna stick it in there again. Putting just enough air to fill that thing up. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow that worm to keep that bubble of air in there and keep it afloat. I'll show you guys just over the side of the boat here what we're talking about. So you can see now that putting air in the tail end of that worm has allowed it to start floating. Normally this worm would fall right to the bottom of the lake and it would have a hard time keeping that presentation above the vegetation. What I've done here by adding a little air has allowed that thing to float. So I'm gonna cast this out into the lake. That thing will float up above the weed line and allow those fish to just cruise by and grab it as they're going through the, the lake throughout the day hunting for, for all their food that they're gonna be eating. So I'm gonna take and cast this out and we'll see what happens. I'm gonna let that sink down and we're in about 21 feet of water here. If you know you're fishing a deep spot, that's why this floating worm uh, method would work really well. If it's hot out, if it's in the middle of the summertime and these trout are gonna be deep in the bottom of the lake, this floating system with this worm works really, really well. So we're gonna go ahead, set up, get our line tight, set it in our rod holder and cross our fingers and hope for the best. If you guys like what you saw here today and you learned anything, be sure and comment below in this feed so that we can get your questions asked and we can teach you even more about this awesome sport that we have that is fishing. So be sure and like this page, guys. Be sure to share it out there so that everybody can start learning how to go out and catch these fish. Be sure to subscribe to this page so that you can get all these notifications whenever we're coming out with these new videos for you every day. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. Stay fishy, we'll see you out there on the lake.